は、ありがとうございます。Okay. Ah, good morning. My name is、uh, Regina Henschel. I'm going to、uh, talk to you about my work in the ODFTC. First, a little bit about the specification.、Um, ODF is a specification for、uh, file format for Office documents. The version、uh, 1.2、uh, has been published as ISO standard uh, in uh, June 2015. The subcommittee、uh, 34 and therein the workgroup 6 is responsible for it.、Uh, this The sub、uh, committee has a sco、uh, scope document descriptions and processing languages.、Uh, it deals in、uh, Office Open XML and、uh, EPUB as well. Although the standard is under the responsibility of ISO, actual development and、uh, maintenance is、uh, done by OASIS. OASIS is a non, -pro <coughs> non profit uh, consortium uh, with membership of、um, over 600 organizations and uh, uh, individuals. The participants、uh, work in currently 64 technical、uh, committees, and one of them is a project. OASIS Open Document Format for Office Applications, or short open document. Now I show you a little bit about the TC itself.、Uh, the chart、uh, shows the current number of part <coughs> participants of the TC.、Uh, We have、uh, in yellow regular members.、Uh, they get、uh, voting rights、uh, by attendance in、uh, meetings. The table shows、uh, the members which were actually active、uh, last year.、Uh, despite the small number, you see the diversity and of the members and their widespread、uh, field of experience. From a point of organization,、uh, we have companies、uh, here and here, here,、uh, associations, here, KDF, and document foundations. We have、uh, government departments. That's the last one. I have no more. And、uh, we have individuals. From a point of office application,、uh, you will notice calli a calligram, that's here, numeric.、Uh, we have LibreOffice and we have Microsoft Office in this、uh, TC. Yeah, what, <coughs> what has this、uh, TC to do? The first、um, part is maintenance.、Uh, the specification has about、uh, 1,300 <coughs>、uh, pages. Such large、uh, documents always h a s、uh, typos or broken references and such errors.、Uh, some、uh, semantic is reflected to styles,、uh, source of additional errors. Furthermore, special care has, is needed in using、uh, normative keywords and keeping、uh, schema and post text matched. The next i、uh, items uh, address uh, content problems, which come into view by comparing programs. For example, all implementations uh, use uh, Angle. 
in a radian, but degree is specified. Uh, this case is easily solved. Uh, we will adapt the specification. <laughs> More difficult are cases where the implementations are different. Uh, we might solve it by introducing new elements and attributes or by making uh, one behavior uh, for standard for uh, ODF 1.3 what requires uh, changes in the other applications. Uh, there exist rules uh, for voting, uh, but of course we try to find uh, consensual solutions. Oh, let, let us have a look at the tools. Uh, we use common tools uh, like mailing list meetings and rug tracker. The public ma mailing list uh, gives non-members uh, means to report bugs or um, request features or give other input to the TC. Uh, the member mailing list is used for discussion and attachments. And uh, agendas and meeting notes are routinely posted there. Both lists uh, are, uh, have a public archive. Uh, regular meetings are held uh, by telephone. Uh, currently, the TC uh, meets um, um, on Monday, at, um, uh, starting at uh, 17 uh, UTC uh, for one hour. That is uh, 6 o'clock in the evening for members in Germany and 9 o'clock for members in California. Um, uh, Oasis provides a um, JIRA issue tracker. Unfortunately, its global settings uh, lack uh, formatting features and attachments. Uh, we work around the shortcoming uh, by using mailing list attachments or wiki and uploading uh, documents to the repository. So let us look how we work. Uh, all starts with an issue. Currently, nearly 300 issues with target ODF 1.3 are unresolved. The chairs select a group of issues for the next meeting, and early announcement of the ad <coughs> agenda gives the members time to prepare. Only few issues can be immediately handled uh, finally. Uh, example given obvious typos or off-topic requests. In most cases, uh, short discussions uh, revealed open problems, which leads to just some homework for the members. After one or sometimes more uh, turns, the members agree on a basic solution. That's, that's here, we therefore hear the circle. <laughs> uh, one member gets the issue assigned and uh, scripts a solution, which means uh, changing the uh, sch schema and the text. Uh, in the final run, the TC uh, votes on this um, proposal and then the uh, the issue is solved. But that is not the end of the work. All these changes have to be incorporated in a draft for the uh, next uh, version of the specification. Currently, the TC has a backlog of nearly 100 resolved but not uh, included uh, issues, and there exists no complete working draft. Help is appreciated. Uh, of course, the TC also considered new features. Uh, such come in, in uh, from several sources. 
the ODFTC itself has a subcommittee to work on collaboration in document editing, including change tracking. For details, please ask Sonte. Uh, as I already mentioned, a few elements and attributes uh, were added um, to solve differences between existing implementations. Uh, sometimes uh, TC uh, gets a feature request via Office comment list. If it is indeed a request for file format and seems uh, useful, then the TC will track it in an issue. The TC does not automatically work on it, but will wait until someone is actually going to implement it. Most fee starts come in from implementers. They first put a new element or attribute in a private namespace and test it. ODF provides an extended mode that can be used for that purpose. An uh, implementer to C member will write down the needed changes for text and schema. It, it is put in an issue then, and the TC works on it. That way, uh, new file format elements have at least one realization. But developers uh, tend to badly document uh, the extension, and so make it unnecessary, uh, difficult for other applications to implement it. There is no automatism that the uh, proposal will be carry, <coughs> carried over exactly, but implementers might, might uh, need to change uh, their application when they are going to support ODF 1.3. Uh, I have noticed some problems in regard to file format in LibreOffice. Other projects may not have such problems, so please do not rashly generalize that, them. Uh, validity should not be a problem because the check is simple. We have heard about the um, validate data. Uh, however, it is annoying that uh, developers sometimes ne <coughs> neglect that uh, aspect. Differences be uh, between applications are serious for the standard. Uh, if they are not errors in one application, uh, but are caused by a weak specification, then that means trouble for the TC. Uh, it is important that the TC becomes early aware of such problems. There exists a public mailing list, uh, Open Document Users, which uh, had been uh, created for that purpose, but it is not used. Um, nevertheless, the communication channel does not really um, matter, as long as developers consult with the TC in case the specification is not clear enough. Uh, the last group is a bit tricky because uh, they touch the attitude of developers. Uh, one aim of my talk is to raise awareness of file format and encourage developers to a fruitful collaboration with the members of the ODFTC. Hmm? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I have been member in the ODFTC for almost five years now. Uh, you might wonder why I work as, as it is volunteer. I'm interested in markup languages and I use uh, StarOffice and its successors for 20 years now. But more important, I like that uh, ODF is an open standard. Everyone can participate in the development of the standard. The process is entirely transparent and decisions follow democratic procedures. Kommen wir nicht wieder zurück. Okay, uh, that was my talk. <laughs> I have uh, skipped a lot of uh, details 
uh, because of the uh, a tight a time frame. Um, thank you for listening to me. Uh, do you have questions? Uh, in other words, if I made open office validate something exactly in the course of your spec, um, would, would the users come after the... Um, you can uh, use a uh, um, validator uh, to um, uh, test the document, but the problem with open office and deep office is that um, uh, code is in part uh, over uh, 20 years old. And uh, there exist uh, features uh, which have been um, transformed to uh, the proprietary uh, XML format of openoffice.org, uh, uh, but uh, are not uh, transferred to uh, ODF. And this is a, um, a lot of um, features which need to uh, be transferred to ODF 1.3 before uh, all cases can validate uh, uh, in, um, against uh, the schema. Yeah? Um, uh, is there a timeline for ODF 1.3? Because, well, uh, uh, it only makes sense uh, if you uh, can see changes at, at some point. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't make sense. Uh, um, at the moment, there is no uh, timeline. Um, the problem is that we would need uh, some uh, people more to do the work. As I already mentioned, we have 300 to, uh, unsolved and 100 solved, and uh, we need at least an editor who um, incorporates the already solved one. And when you, um, when, uh, when the work is good, we uh, can solve um, uh, four issues uh, in a week. And then you can uh, count yourself that we need, uh, <laughs> how long it uh, needs we, uh, till we uh, have uh, worked on all the existing issues. And uh, there are uh, still some open uh, in, um, in LibreOffice, uh, where there is not even an issue to. It's no time, no time, uh, no time frame yet. I have a small question. Hmm? You said take the feature because it's your first one. Oh, okay. So uh, you, you can accept other questions informally, right? Uh, yes. So okay. You can move on with, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>